Can you please state your name and workplace? Yes, my name is Jeff Myers and I work at the Weston St. Francis Hotel in San Francisco as a banquet server. And um, are you also a member of the negotiating committee? Yes, I am and I have been since 2004. Okay, would you like to tell us some of the um, pertinent issues about the current um, contract negotiations? Yes, the, the uh, central issue um, uh, is health care cost. Um, in this case, um, we are fairly confident based on numbers that are given by the actuaries from the trust fund that manage the health funds jointly for the management and the union. Uh, the actuary tells us that these uh, costs are going to increase by about 10 percent um, in the next uh, year and will probably continue to uh, increase at that rate for the foreseeable future. But the hotels are, are only offering a fraction of that. Um, and they know that in order to maintain our benefits, uh, that we'll either need to diminish our, our reserve funds or uh, reduce our benefits or charge our, our, our members. Uh, and it's always been the nature of the, the contracts um, that Local 2 has uh, had with the local employers uh, that we would essentially is sacrifice a, a large chunk of our income in order to have the stability and security of uh, having our health uh, taken care of. And, you know, for anyone who's ever stayed in the hotel realizes that, you know, hotel employees are um, not only vulnerable to all of the, the kinds of injuries that can happen uh, by, you know, moving lots of stuff around, but we're also vulnerable to all of the biological uh, agents that are coming through this hotel from all over the world. So we really have uh, to rely on our health benefits as an essential um, a aspect of our lives. We just cannot live without it. The hotels know, um, based on their cynical calculations, that uh, the more they charge our members monthly, the more our members of, of our members will uh, be unable to afford their portion of the health care cost and will have to drop out of the system and become essentially um, a, a burden on San Francisco General and the other public um, sources of health care benefits in our neighborhood um, so that the, these corporations that are multinational and have been highly profitable um, have essentially decided that they're not going to be good corporate citizens and uh, take the responsibility to maintain their uh, employees and the relationship with their employees um, but they're going to try to use various um, uh, means to try to, to uh, uh, deceive everyone, uh, saying that they are going to pay, you know, so much per month, but it's not enough to cover the whole cost, and they absolutely know that. Um, and we have no intention of uh, abandoning any of our members, you know, either to a world in which they get no benefits. Um, which they're unable to pay for benefits, or uh, where new employees are going to be denied, um, you know, pension and health care rights in the future. We think it's just divisive and destructive, and a, a really cynical way that these uh, hotel management corporations are shirking their basic responsibilities. I like what you said about uh, our health, and you know, uh, it seems to me that if they're not going to take care of the health of their employees that they really don't care about if uh, the, any kind of illnesses are passed on to their guests as well. Um, you see what I'm talking about? Well that's something that we actually have confronted them about in negotiations by saying that you know if their employees aren't healthy um, you know, it, it reflects badly on the hotel. And, you know, just in, in a reverse or converse kind of way, to be able to assure, you know, the public, say, in this year, for example, wouldn't it be a great advantage for any corporation to step up and say, all of our employees have been immunized against the uh, H1N1 virus, for example? 
um, but they haven't even taken the slightest effort, um, you know, to um, to do anything to even m give us access, you know, let alone, you know, actually provide those uh, inoculations. Um, so yes, we really feel as though you know this is indicative of a kind of a corporate mindset that's uh, that that all of the, the the guests passing through San Francisco should be aware of. They don't care if their employees are healthy or not. Great, thank you so much, Jeff Myers. I know you have to get over to the St. Francis for the picket line today, the action. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you, and I'll be looking forward to making my views known to J.P. Morgan, uh, who are in our hotel, uh, to sell long-term premium health care opportunities to major corporations, uh, which then can in turn uh, offer them to the American public. And I just hope that by the time those products are rolled out, there's anyone left in this country who will be able to afford to buy them. Thank you so much, Jeff, and uh, thank you for all your hard work in the hotel, in negotiations, and uh, on the picket line. We're looking forward to seeing you more. Thank you. Thank you.